Uh, yes. Winter in Saskatchewan. Just fantastic. But, as the uh, title suggests, I'm thinking about getting rid of old Leaky Pete. Now, you may ask why I would want to get rid of the bike. Um, and it's not because I'm going broke or bankrupt or anything like that. It's just, I just don't use it that much. It is fun to ride, but I mean, I think the first year, which was last year after I finished working on it, I, I might have put 300 kilometers on it over a couple of months. Uh, this year, I'd be lucky if I put 200 on it. So it just it just does not get the use, especially when I have the, the big bad fat boy here. Uh, it just, quite frankly, it, it doesn't get used as much. And there is a good reason for that. Now, other than you can see that this is a hardtail now, uh, you can see there's no license plate on it. And the reason for that is, is because I live in Saskatchewan and this bike came out of Ontario and it needs to be safetyed for it to be legally rode in Saskatchewan. Issue is, is that even though I have been told by the local dealer that there is absolutely nothing wrong with this bike, safety-wise or otherwise, it doesn't meet uh, Canadian manufacturing standards. So you would think it's in Saskatchewan, you'd have to meet Saskatchewan standards. Incorrect. You need to meet the Canadian standards. So the things this bike still needs, it needs reflectors, some more lights on the back, uh, it has a, I think an indicator light out up here on the dash. There's a few, a few things, nothing super major, but nothing I wanted to pour more money into. And, uh, basically I was told other than that the bike is fine. I was told that, you know, you put that stuff on, we'll inspect it. And once we pass it, you can just take it all off again because it meets Saskatchewan standards as it is right now. So found that a little bit ridiculous, but I just really don't want to pour more money into something I'm not riding that much to begin with and then end up taking it all off again. And I have to admit, the prospect of selling this bike is kind of uh, bittersweet. I did a lot of work on this bike, actually. I have videos up on when I was doing the bike, but I did things like chop and paint the fenders, both of those you know, new, uh, new, uh, riser bushings, new gas tank, petcock fuel line, uh, air cleaner, new carburetor, uh, highway pegs, new pipes, uh, new oil tank, new seat, you know, new tail light, new signal lights, new battery, new ignition, new coil and plugs and wires. And I cleaned up all this wiring underneath here that was all hanging out when I first got it. Other than that, just a general clean. And I even got the speedometer to start working. However, the odometer still doesn't. So how many miles are on this bike? I have no idea. Tons, I'm sure. And to be honest with you, I'm sure the engine could use a little work and things like that. But this is a 1988 Sportster. It's, you know, it's not going to be a performance machine. But for all the work I put into it, I do, ah, I do kind of wonder if, if I should go ahead and sell it or just keep it. But, you know, I don't really want a, a doorstop sitting here either. Now, this isn't meant to be like any sort of advertisement for the bike, hoping that someone would buy it, because I really haven't totally decided yet, and I probably won't until probably come spring, but eh, it'd be nice to maybe get a, you know, three, 4,000 out of it, if possible. Obviously, you can tell it's got that oil pan underneath it. It's still got a bit of a leak that I got to look into. Um, but other than that, it's, it runs fairly decent, but... I don't know. I'm just hoping somebody, uh, you know, maybe in the comments will give me an idea what, what they think I should do. Should I sell it? Should I keep it? We'll see how many people actually watch this video and let me know. But I just thought I'd give you guys an idea of what I was, what I was thinking, a little update what's going on here. But uh, other than that, 
I think that's it for today. So hopefully some of you guys are still out there riding, but for me, I've probably got about four or five months here uh, where these bikes are probably going to be sitting exactly where they are right now.